I've been outlining a workshop for a large women's group in Seattle on mothering. So I thought today I'd talk about some of the issues that have come up for me. I watched my younger daughter be a mother, and I'm really impressed. She talks to her son in this manner. Gus, what you just did didn't feel good to mommy. It wasn't respectful, so I need you to sit on the stairs and think about it. And when you understand what wasn't respectful about it, then you can tell me. He doesn't like sitting on the stairs, but he does understand. So that's a good thing. It's an important lesson to teach kids. Then I see how affectionate she is with both boys, grabbing them in her arms and hugging them and kissing them all over. It's wonderful to see. The last time I was there, Gus, the four-year-old, said to me, Grandma, let's sit on the couch. Actually, let's lie on the couch and cuddle, and then you can read to me. What a delight. More complicated is the mothering at my age. I'm still a mom. Most of the time, fortunately, both of my kids are in lives they enjoy, and they're both very functional. However, sometimes I see coming down the road in one of their lives something that concerns me. What do I do? Do I say something? Do I not say something? What's my job here? What's my role? Usually I'll sit with it for a few weeks, and if it still is a concern, I'll write an email. I spend days composing the email and rewriting and rewriting, and then I send it. I figure they can either ignore it, not respond, or it'll have meaning for them. And at least I've done something. I've fulfilled my responsibilities. I've been a mom. It's complicated, and it's not very easy. And again, fortunately, this doesn't happen very often. The best part is being a grandmother. There's no downside, but lots of up. So I really am lucky.